What's going on, YouTube fam? So, this year I didn't know if I want to do a top 10 pickups or a top 16 of 2016. Because normally I do like a, for 2015, I did top 15 of 2015. For 14, I did my top 14 and so forth and so on. So, I reached out, asked you guys what you wanted me to do. And here we go. People have spoken. Let's get started. All right, guys, kicking off this year's top 16 pickups of 2016 are your Olive NMDs. Uh, so before I get into the rest of the countdown, all the shoes are, are, are not all releases from uh, this year. Some shoes uh, may have came out um, outside of 2016, but these are all the shoes that I picked up in 2016. So I just wanted to kind of cover that really quick with you guys. So here you go, coming in at number 16 on the countdown are the olive color NMDs. I thought this color was really, really dope. Uh, they ended up making a, a US release. I scooped these up. I had a buddy who sent them out to me from overseas. Uh, when I saw that they were coming out and they were only a Europe release at first he sent these out to me uh, you know retail plus shipped all that good stuff so just wanted to add these to the countdown I thought this colorway was dope the NMD uh, was a big hit this year so um here you go number 16 coming in at number 15 I'll pair Nike IDs on a Kobe 11 silhouette so normally I like to always toss a Nike ID somewhere on my uh, top list just because it's something I created something I designed uh, so one of my creations have to be on the list it came in at number 15 this particular print was available on Kobe's last game right before he got ready to retire and you can see all the print and all the different numbers and everything on here kind of highlight moments in Kobe's career uh, and here's all the achievements and everything that you see on the shoe that's all the uh, the print that's throughout the shoe right here so these are pretty sick. I hadn't worn these yet, just waiting for the right moment. Uh, I thought these was pretty dope. Uh, I thought this was something real cool that they did. Uh, you know, it's Kobe going away. So here you go, a pair of uh, Mamba Day Nike IDs coming in at number 15. Coming in num at number 14, your Air Max One Safari. This is a retro of the uh, the Atmos Safari collab that Nike and Atmos Boutique did some years and years ago. Uh, Atmos didn't have any involvement with this one, but Nike went ahead and made a retro of that one. And uh, so little, some, sim, some differences, some things are similar, obviously the Safari print, but they didn't have all this the shaggy fur like here on the, on the OG. And the outsoles on these do glow in the dark and that is something a little bit different. So these were pretty cool to me. I'm a huge fan of the MX-1. Glad to have these in the collection. This was a quick strike. Not many places had these. Uh, got these from a local boutique. I was glad to get my hands on them. So here you guys go. At number 14, the Safari MX-1s. Number 13 on the list is your Dawn Becker 7. This was this year Jordan, Dawn Becker to release. Uh, I thought these were really dope, man. I try and add a Dawn Becker to my collection, uh, collection vid every year just because of all the stuff that the kids go through. The proceeds go back to the hospital. I think it's just a major thing what Nike and the Dawn Becker Hospital do. So I just want to show y'all a quick look at these really quick. I moved this guitar pick up just because it was sliding when I had it on here, and I kind of talked about that in my review vid. Uh, so here you go, man. This shoe is really, really dope, man. The details are nice colorway all that good stuff so here you go coming at number 13 is your Jordan 7 Dawn Becker all right coming in at number 12 are your Just Don 2's and your beach colorway man this shoe was so dope the retail was pretty expensive on it but the packaging the quality and everything on this shoe was just so dope to me man I was so happy to get this shoe I got it for a really good price. I think just because the retail was already high, um, you know, uh, resale prices wasn't that high on them. So it came what you had 
uh, dust bag and all that stuff. The packaging was just A1 on these. So here you guys go. Next on the list was the Just Don Jordan 2s and your Beach Colorway. All right. Next up, here we go. Coming in at number 11 are your Human Race, NMDs, Tangerine Colorway. This is a Pharrell Williams and Adidas collab on the NMD model. Uh, it's a different NMD model because they have this cage and stuff and how the lace is on here. But this is the Human Race collection. Uh, this is the second installment when he dropped several different colors. Uh, and you can see they have Hue and Man on one shoe. This shoe is so dope to me. I love colors. And um, this had to make the collection, had to make the video. But they came in at number 11. This is your Pharrell Williams collab on your uh, NMD model. Your Human Race and your Tangerine color. At number 10, you have the Raining Champ Adidas Ultra Boost. This was a collab with Rain and Champ and Adidas, and this collab is so sick. This was one of my last pickups of 2016. I uh, did a review and everything for it. They came with a real cool slide out box and a dust bag and all that stuff. Uh, I just think this this particular silhouette is just so dope to me. You see they have the Rain and Champ logo here, Adidas on this one. Uh, just this colorway and everything is just really cool. Glad to have these in the collection. These came in at number 10. Coming in at number 9, you have the Olive Colorway Adidas Ultra Boost. This is your version 1.0. This was a Europe exclusive only. These never dropped in the U.S. Um, so glad to have my hands on these. It's one of your sought after pairs. I had a friend send these out to me once I saw that they were available overseas and they were just sitting. Um, so I'm glad I'm so happy to have these in the collection. It's one of my favorite color Ultra Boosts. I love the 1.0s. I love the design of the Prime Knit. Um, so here you guys go, man. This is number nine. Your olive color Adidas Ultra Boosts. Europe only. All right. Next up, number eight. At number eight, you have another pair of Pharrell human race nmds but in your red colorway i'm a huge fan of red it's one of my favorite colors on a sneaker um so these had to make the collection it's another pair just like the tangerine these are just the red ones um these have hu and then race on other shoe i just like i mentioned on the tangerine i think it's a dope concept pharrell really did his thing on these happy to have them in the collection um but here you guys go man this is number eight your human race NMDs collab with Pharrell Williams and Adidas. Uh, I hadn't worn yet, but I may eventually toss these suckers on. Just waiting for the right moment. But here you go. Your red human race NMDs coming in at number eight. At number seven, you have another pair of Ultra Boost in your burgundy colorway. This was a Europe only release also, just like your Olive pair. I think they released in 2015, but in 2016 I got my hands on them. So that's why they made the list. Uh, dope colorway, comfortable shoe. It's on your 1.0 model. Uh, so here you guys go. The Burgundy Ultra Boost. 1.0 Europe exclusive at number seven. Up at number six, guys, is your gray gum Yeezy 750 um, I'm a huge fan of this shoe man some people hate it some people love it and uh, it's, it's just one of those shoes you either gonna like it I hate this you know like uh, I hate the shoe uh, this was the first one that had the glow in the dark sole I'm a huge fan of the 750 I have all the all the Yeezys that released with Adidas so far I was able to obtain all of them um, and of the 750s that released this year this was my favorite colorway uh, I just think it matches everything. It goes with just about anything. Um, you know, and like I said, it have that, that clue on the dog bottom too. So um, here you guys go. This is number six. Coming in at number five are your Space Jam Jordan 11s. Uh, I've been waiting for this shoe to re-retro again. I had the original and 01. 
I had them when they came out on 09 and they, my pads just shot and I was just was waiting for a fresh pair to come out. And I'm so happy these came out. The packaging was dope. Everything was dope on these. Just a great shoe. And any lover of the Jordan 11, these just have to be in a collection. I don't care who you are. And some of the videos I've seen this year, just about everybody had this shoe somewhere in their uh, top pickup bid. So these made mine at number five. Up at number four, you have your, your black and red ones or your band ones or red ones, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Jordan 1 silhouette. The materials they used on here was awesome. Uh, not quite as good as your shattered backboard, but they were really, really, really good leather material that they used on these. Um, they don't have the X on the back like your your bands that came out and hit some of your nike outlets some years ago so that's the only reason why i don't have these higher up on my list because they have the um the stuff in the inside but it don't have the x on the back so these made the list but they came in at number four this is your band or bread or whatever you want to call it jordan one up at number three we're on our top three guys. Thanks for hanging in there, man. I know the video pretty long, but thank you guys for hanging in there, checking out the video. But at number three, we got your black toe Jordan ones. You know, a lot of people might say, man, how you have these before the bread ones. But these are, these and the Chicago's, uh, they're one of my favorite colorways. This one kind of had that Chicago vibe to it, but it had the black toe on it. But I, I don't know, something about these are really dope to me. I love this shoe. Uh, this one, the bread, the Royal, Chicago, they could release once again. I always scoop these up, man. I'm a huge fan of your OG uh, Jordan 1s. And this one, man, I, I just like this one slightly better than that band one or whatever one you want to call it that released this year. If the bread was more OG, uh, you know, not with the tumble toe box and the writing in the inside, I might have had those higher than these, but since it had all other stuff and it didn't have the X's on the back, I put them a little under the under these and put these higher. So here's my number three, your black toe, Jordan ones. Down to the last two guys. Number two is your Yeezy 350 version two and your Beluga colorway. Uh, like I mentioned, I have all the Yeezys that released with Adidas and there were several different color V2s that dropped this year. And those didn't make the list, but this one, this colorway, the first V2, I think is so sick to me. Um, the comfort is almost more comfortable than an Ultra Boost. This is, it's a really different and unique shoe with this, this, it looks orange. They're calling it solar. The stripe on here, it just adds the right touch of, of color on the shoe. The, the comfort is there. It's just an amazing shoe, man. Um... I'm into comfort. I love Kanye West, one of my favorite rappers, and this shoe is by far, you know, one of the most comfortable shoes in my entire collection, besides my Ultra Boost, but this one is up there. So here is number two. Up next, last one, guys, number one. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see what it is. And at number one, my top pickup of 2016 is none other than the white cement Jordan 4. The Jordan 4 silhouette, for those who've been following my channel and my social media for a while, is my favorite silhouette when it comes to Jordans. Um, the white cement and uh, the black cement or the bread, whatever you want to call it, are my favorite shoes, hands down. If I could only take two shoes out of my, out of my entire collection, those would be it. They gave these the OG, the OG treatment with the Nike Air on the back. The leather was amazing. I ended up doubling up on these. And these are, hands down, my favorite shoe that I picked up the entire year. Uh, 2016 had some really nice retros for Jordan. You had the black metallic fives, the true blue threes, these space jams. It was a really nice year for Jordan retros and anybody who's into J's and stuff like that. So... This was my top 16 of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
uh y'all leave me a comment down at the bottom let me know what your top five shoes were that you picked up let me know something that you would have liked to see i thought you would have saw in this video leave me a comment subscribe to the channel uh more videos to come for 2017 i look to hear from you guys soon all right more material more videos check out my social media all that good stuff thanks for watching peace